spielen. Hat, hat, hat. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm so glad that you're here. So in today's video, I have a lot of new makeup to try. It's a really good mix of high-end and drugstore. I'm kind of on the hunt for some dupes, so we're just gonna try a lot of new makeup. Well, new to me. Not everything is necessarily new new. It's just something I've never tried before. All right, I'm gonna clip my hair back. I'm actually gonna start with a primer that I have been using and that I know I like. It is this Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. This is like a sunscreen and primer in one. I really have been enjoying this. I just got it a couple weeks ago and already I love it. It's so nice to be able to get my sunscreen and my primer in one step rather than layering because the thing is sometimes some primers don't play well with different SPFs. Some SPFs don't play well with my favorite primers and I like that this one feels pretty moisturizing. I always use moisturizer because I'm a dry skin gal but this one doesn't feel drying. It's got some glow to it and it does not have a white cast which I don't want a white cast. I self tan to be darker, not to be Casper. I like that this doesn't have too much of a scent. This has actually become one of my favorite products over the last couple weeks. This is what I've been putting under my makeup almost every day. So I'm a really big fan of this. And the reason that I'm using this primer that's not new to me is because I'm going to be trying this pure four in one love your selfie foundation. I have been wanting to try this for so long. This is a favorite of Raw Beauty Christie and I trust her so implicitly. So I really have been wanting to try this and when I try a new foundation, I like to use a primer that I know I like. Just that way I feel I'm giving the foundation the best, fairest shot. Now this foundation on the back actually says that you should pump the foundation directly onto a foundation brush. So I'm going to go by their recommended application method even though I I don't know sometimes I go through like little phases where I use a sponge a lot like lately I've been using this real technique sponge a lot but I do have my favorite foundation brush here this is the 102 silk finish from Zoeva I love this brush for foundation so I'm gonna pump I'm gonna do like one and a half it said one for light coverage two to three for fuller coverage so i like a nice medium coverage so i think i'm gonna go kind of moderate and just see i am using the shade mn2 i used foundation i've talked about that website before i used foundation to kind of get an idea of which shade to purchase i love foundation in the you know best of times but especially right now when so many of us cannot get to a store to get color matched, I think foundation is a really, foundation is a really good resource if you have never used it before. It's a website where you basically go in and you tell them, you know, one, two, three, four, the more shades you can tell them the better, but you tell them kind of the shades of foundation that have been good matches for you and then they use that information to let you know which shades and other foundations would be the best match. I'm gonna use just a touch more. I thought I heard yelling outside and you guys with everything going on in the world, I was like getting really tense. Is anyone else like that? Um, just like really conflict averse? I'm a very conflict averse person and if I hear any kind of yelling, I immediately kind of freeze and I look around and I try to figure out where it's coming from and it's just like a kind of survival instinct of mine that I just I'm really uncomfortable around loud noises and stuff I kind of like to make sure you know everything's safe I'm just a very like safety driven security driven individual so let me know if you're like that or you know am I just a weirdo you guys I really like this foundation. Oh my gosh. I sh you know, I knew in my heart that Christy would never, never steer me wrong. This is so nice. I love this. I really like this finish. It reminds me a lot of my favorite, you know, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It reminds me a lot of that. And then it's a radiant finish, but it doesn't look like too greasy. It doesn't look too, I mean wet it's just really nice 
and it's sitting on the skin really well. And I'm going to be honest, it blended into my nose area so nicely, which that's for me always the test is does this get along well with my nose? And so far it looks like it does. So I'm excited to wear this today and see, kind of see what it's like. All right, guys, for concealer today, I am going to be trying the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. Now, someone had told me that this was a good dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I actually have a couple dupes for that that I like, but I always like to try kind of new dupes because what I have found is that, oh my gosh, number one, I'm tell you right now, a little bit of this goes a long way and I definitely use too much product. I will not hold that against it. <laughs> but what I have found about dupes is that a product that is a dupe for me may not be a dupe for you. And what I mean is, for example, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. What I really love about that concealer is one, it doesn't feel drying and two the color is just absolutely perfect for brightening my under eye area and that's what I use it for now for you you could love that concealer but maybe you love it for different characteristics so the thing is if I recommend to you a dupe that has like the same non drying and the same you know kind of color formula color shade range for me that would be a great dupe but maybe what you really like is the consistency or maybe you really like the way that it you know lays on top of your favorite foundation so when you like different characteristics dupes aren't all created equal for everyone especially when you think about the fact that most dupes are not just like a flat out exact replica of a product it's usually that there's a few characteristics that it has in common that make it very similar but you know things can be similar in different ways for example, my brothers and I look alike, but in completely different ways. Like my middle brother and I look alike, but not in any of the same ways that my youngest brother and I look alike. I don't know. That's a weird analogy, but you know, it's true. I do like this shade. I feel like this is a good shade. I feel like it did brighten. I like a lot. For reference, I got the shade Alabaster. I am noticing that it is a good shade for me, I think. And it does feel very creamy. I don't notice any kind of caking, creasing, anything that looks like it's going to give me kind of a drying out problem. So that's interesting. I might have to try this a few more times. I am definitely on the hunt for some dupes, you guys. I have been trying some over the past four weeks. And I think in the next week or two, I'm going to be able to have a full face of dupes to show you guys of, you know, some drugstore, more affordable alternatives to some of my favorite luxury products. So be on the lookout for that. To set my under eye, I'm going to be trying this Well People Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. I have had this for, oh my gosh, a couple months, you guys, and just have not gotten around to trying it. I don't know how similar it's going to be to my Hourglass. I feel like it's really not at all now that I'm looking at it, but it is a clean powder that had you know, some pretty good recommendations from folks and had really good reviews. So, so I'm hoping that it's going to be a good powder to set my concealer. I've not been using powder all over the face much. As we get more into summer, sometimes I will, just depending on what I'm going to do. Like if I need a full face of makeup to last the entire day in the summer, then yeah, I kind of have to use powder all over the face. Even though I have dry skin, I just feel like when you're outside in the heat, you really kind of need powder to keep everything together. Huh. I don't love this powder. I can tell you that already. I look and see that it's already pulled up product off of my nose. So this product is just probably not going to be one that I think is, is good for this. It was fine under the eyes, but the fact that it just pulled up that product on my nose kind of bugs the crap out of me because I don't want products that pull up other products. That's so annoying to me. I also don't think that this powder is very invisible. I think it has a very white cast to it, which I think is really visible right now. So I'm not a fan of that. I really like translucent powders to actually be translucent. I like them to blend well. I don't like for them to give a white grayish cast to my under eyes. So for the purposes that I use powder for, this product just, I don't think, is really hitting the mark for me. 
but that's okay. We have more things to try. I have been searching and searching for a good drugstore cream bronzer because I use cream bronzer so much and I really don't have a drugstore recommendation for it. So today I'm going to be trying one. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. I am using the shade, I think it's one is the shade. I'll be sure to put it on the screen so that you will know. We're just gonna kind of do this as a stick and see. I'm gonna blend it in, I think, with my foundation brush. Ooh, I like the color, I can tell you that already. That's a good, nice color for me. So, ooh, I'm glad. After that powder, I was worried that things were gonna start going downhill, but I think we're gonna salvage the space of makeup. You know, speaking about dupes and how different they can be for different people, I think it just comes down to the fact that makeup is so personal for so many of us. I mean, your personal preferences when it comes to your face, I mean, what can be more personal than how you want your face to look and what you want to put on your face? It's such a personal, subjective, you know, topic. I can remember so vividly that many, many years ago when I was in my early 20s, I hired a makeup artist to come do my makeup and one of my friend's makeup for her birthday. And oh my gosh, her makeup, she did my makeup. It was beautiful. She did my friend's makeup. Her makeup was, oh my God, it was gorgeous. She looked so stunning. And, you know, I paid the makeup artist, the makeup artist left. I, you know, go back into the house and my friend is in the bathroom literally washing her face so that she can reapply her makeup. And I was in shock. I was like, oh my gosh, why did you take that off? And she was like, I just do not like how she did my makeup. And you know, what's crazy is I thought she looked so beautiful, but that's the thing. It's such a personal thing. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I can think someone's makeup is beautiful, but I don't have to live with their face. I don't walk around with their face. Um, and you know, vice versa. So that's, I kind of feel like with makeup, you have to really, you know, do what you like versus what, you know, maybe is like the trend at the time, because you know, it's just very personal, even down to products and how you like a product to feel. I mean, for me, if I can feel a foundation on my skin, I hate it. I cannot stand to feel foundation on my skin. And you know, some people, I'm sure it does not bother them one little bit, but for me, I just can't do it. And you know, to that same note, I, you know, I've always been mystified by people who want to comment on how other people do their makeup. You know, I use, still use like the triangle of concealer under my eye because I really like it. But I see people on other YouTubers videos all the time saying, you put on too much concealer. Stop doing the triangle. That's so over. Um, I'm going to keep doing the triangle because it's my face. Trying to decide where to go next. I think I'm going to do eyes and then I'll skip down to cheeks. I swear. I think I always, I just love something about having everything sculpted and then doing my eyes. I have two choices for the eyes and I just can't decide. I think I'm going to use this Tom Ford. So this is something that I just got and I have been wanting this so badly. And I'm really excited to try it because it looks beautiful. This is the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color in Golden Peach. So in the bottom there is a cream and in the top there's a powder. And kind of the way I've seen people do it is they put on the cream and then they tap the powder over with a brush. So that is what I'm going to do. I like to go in with creams. I like to put them on with my finger. Oh my god, this is so pretty you guys oh my gosh i like to put them on with my finger and then kind of blend them out into my crease with a little fluffy brush i usually use like a mac what is this a mac 217 which is like one of my favorite brushes of all time although i'm gonna be honest you guys the last couple ones i've bought have felt different from my really old ones i don't know what it is and so i've just been really using ones that are like super old and I just stay away from the new ones. I, I don't know if they change something or, you know, maybe it's just that my brushes, you know, get better with age and with use, but I have just kind of noticed that. I think it's a little weird. This is, oh my gosh, so pretty. Like, so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more product on just cause I wanna blow it up a little bit more. And when I say blow it up, I just mean I want it to go up higher on my eye. I feel like, 
sometimes we all use such different language when it comes to makeup. So when I say like blow it out, blow it up, I just mean that I want it like boom. You guys, this is so pretty. It reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury rose gold cream shadow that always sells out. But I like this one I think a little bit more because it is just a touch more peachy. To me, this is like a touch more uh, soft. Soft is the word I'm looking for. It's a little softer. So, hmm, that's very pretty. All right, now I'm going to put the top. This is the powder part on. Hmm, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to use a brush for it. I'm going to use this as a MAC. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's a short shader brush from MAC. I cannot even see the number anymore because it's so old. I feel like my MAC brushes have all lasted a really long time. I can't remember the last time I bought one. Probably at least a year ago. They, they just, they really hold up well. I really also love Zoeva. Would you guys, I've been thinking about it, would you guys be interested in something like a top five favorite makeup brushes or something like that kind of video? Um, or does everybody pretty much already have their favorite brushes at this point? Just let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. I would love to do it. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous. I love this. This is something, this product is right up my alley. Two complimentary colors, you know, the cream and then the topper to put on. So simple, so easy, blended out beautifully, just gorgeous color, light reflective. This is, oh my gosh, this is a dream for me. I, oh my gosh, I'm already, already can tell you I'm gonna love this product for months and months to come. All right, so in my quest for dupes, I've been looking for something very similar to my Victoria Beckham bronze eyeliner because I've just found myself reaching for that liner so often lately. So I found this one from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Last Longwear Eye Pencil in bronze. So we're going to see how this wears, how it looks. I know it's probably not going to be as creamy as my Victoria Beckham. I don't, I mean, I've never tried an eyeliner that's as creamy as that one, but if I could find something similar in color that wears as well and, you know, is smooth, even if it's not as smooth, then I would feel good being able to give you guys kind of that alternative. Let's see. I warmed it up a little bit on my hand and it's applying really pretty well in there. Again, it's not as smooth as the Victoria Beckham one, but the color is very, very similar and it does apply well. So it's probably just going to come down to doesn't wear as well, you know, throughout the day. All right, we're going to go into brows. For brows, I'm going to try this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. This is a 1.5 millimeter brow pencil. I absolutely love the Dior Brow Styler. So again, kind of my hope in trying this is I'm going to be able to find something similar to that brow pencil. What I love about that brow pencil is how skinny it is. So this was the skinniest drugstore brow pencil I could find. And we're just going to cross our fingers that it performs well because as you guys probably know, if you've been here before, brows are not my strongest area of expertise. So I try, you guys. I try. Trying to say goodbye when I choke. Hey, trying to walk away and I stumble. So I try to hide it. It's clear. All right, I'm going to try this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is clear. Should be clear. Yes, it is clear. I'm going to try this to like try to fluff up my brows because I like the fluffy brows. For my brows, actually, what I do is I like to like fluff up this front part and then the rest I kind of just, you know, brush it the way that it naturally um, would fall. Fluffy brow, fluffy brow, I love you. What that song was. All right, for blush, I'm gonna try another one of the Fenty creams. This was the second color that I purchased. It is the Petal Poppin. So I'm excited to try this one. I absolutely loved Drama Class. That's the lavender one. Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen my lavender monochrome get ready with me moment, I will link that video in the eye above and I will also link it down below. Oh my gosh, that was a fun get ready with me and I absolutely am still in love with that blush. It is so beautiful. So, ooh, this one's pretty too. Definitely like a pink moment going on. Oh my gosh. And I think it's really complimenting the eyes well. So I feel like this was the right route to go today. I think these products were 
good to try together. So I wanna blow out my lower lash line just a little bit, you know, to kind of balance out the two. I feel so weird when I don't, you know, put anything on that lower lash line. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that cream from Tom Ford. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. This is from It Cosmetics. I think I've mentioned this brush before. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's the smudger slash liner. So I'm taking the smudger side and I'm just gonna kind of smudge out the outer third. I'm not gonna go any further in just because since this does have a peachy pink tone to it, I don't wanna get too far in because I think when you do that, it kind of starts to look like your allergies are acting up or something. So I'm just gonna stick to the outer third. Um, definitely not gonna go as far along the lower lash line as I do when I'm using, you know, a color that's not pink you know, rosy toned. All right, feeling good about that. Let's move on to highlighter. This highlighter is from the brand Aesthetica and I found this on Amazon. This is the Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter in the color Minus. I do not know if this brand is only sold on Amazon, if it's sold somewhere else. Um, I'll be sure to link this in the description box below, but I have been looking for a MAC Double Gleam dupe because for some reason, I cannot find any blog that mentions a dupe for MAC Double Gleam. So today I'm gonna see if this could possibly be a dupe for it. It looked very similar in swatches. I think that's actually very, very similar to Double Gleam. I mean, I'm not gonna get mine out because it's literally in storage and I don't wanna go through that trouble, but this really feels like it's very, very similar. So this looks so strikingly similar. Oh my gosh. At some point I will swatch them together and let you guys see. I'll probably post that on my Instagram. This looks extremely, extremely similar. All right guys, let's move on to the lips. So I've actually picked up three lip products from Maybelline. Now I had seen Gigi Hadid do, I think it was like an Instagram live or something um, with a makeup artist from Maybelline or maybe she did it herself. I don't know, I didn't actually watch the video, full disclosure, I just read the captions and a little write up on Vogue, but um, the lip combo she had on was really pretty and the color wasn't exactly what I would go for just for my skin tone, my complexion and kind of what I gravitate towards. But I did see that they used a liner, a lipstick, and the Superstay Ink Crayon, all from Maybelline. So I, you know, found each of those products and then picked colors that were more along the lines of what I would gravitate towards in this moment in time. So we're going to try these out today, this little lip trio. So first is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Palest Pink. And I'm kind of going to just... Oh wow, that is very, very pink. I'm actually really surprised that this is showing up on my lips. So this pleasantly surprises me because there are so many drugstore lip liners that are pink that do not even show up on my lips. I have very pigmented lips, so the fact that this is a pale, pale pink that's actually showing up is Props to you, Maybelline. So right over the lip liner, we're gonna go with this Super Stay Ink Crayon from Maybelline. This is in the color, Keep It Fun is the name of this one. So we're gonna go right over this. Ooh. You guys, this actually reminds me a lot of Brave. I think this is like somewhere in between Mac Faux and Mac Brave. As you guys may have heard, Mac Faux is like my favorite lipstick color of all time. And Mac Brave is one that's very similar to Faux, but it's a little darker in tone and it's also kind of somehow a little bolder. This is kind of like a good medium between those. I really love this color. This is pretty. So on the top, we're gonna use this Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. This is an undressed pink and it is a shine formula. So that's why we're using it last because this is what's gonna bring us kind of the shine uh, in place of a lip gloss. So I would have been fine stopping at the Superstay Crayon because I thought it was beautiful, but I really like this. It's very shiny, very pretty. It feels like, you know, it gives the shine of a gloss, but no gloss. So if you're someone who doesn't really like the texture of lip gloss, this might be something cool for you to check out. 
All right, to tie everything together, I am gonna do something I don't normally do, and that is I'm gonna use a setting spray that is not my beloved Cover FX setting spray. I am gonna try this setting spray from Pacifica. This is the Crystal Dew setting spray. It is for all skin types. It is 100% vegan, cruelty-free. It is clean, so you know what, Pacifica, I'm gonna give you a try. Oh my gosh, you guys, that smells delicious. Like this, like it smells like a cocktail that I would want to drink. Like <laughs> it's so yummy and fresh smelling. Oh my gosh, yummy. I like it. So I didn't use a mascara because I do have some little individuals glued on, but I think I will um, use one now that I'm thinking about it. So this is the Maybelline Snap Mascara. Um, you know, I just want to kind of make my individual little do-it-yourself at home lashes kind of blend in a little better. And I also want to give myself something on the lower lash line. So, you know, this is my way of kind of half trying a mascara. I'm going to be honest, I can still smell that setting spray in the air, but not like in a bad way, in like a really good way where it's like, oh my gosh, that smells so refreshing and so nice. All right, guys, makeup is done. Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. I, oh my gosh, so many good products here. Like, just off the first impression, this Love Your Selfie Foundation, I absolutely love my selfie right now. So, you know, as advertised. Even this Physician's Formula Bronzer Stick, I really like what it did. It look, I look contoured, I look bronzed. I don't feel like the color is off at all. It didn't pull up product. I mean, I've spent far more on cream bronzer sticks that did not perform this well the first time I tried them. So, you know, I definitely wanna keep trying this because like I said, I really wanna be able to give you guys a drugstore option when it comes to cream bronzers and I just don't know of many. So I'm really optimistic about this product. The eyes, oh my gosh, the eyes. This Tom Ford little duo, cream and powder eye duo, oh my gosh, so beautiful. I mean, insanely expensive, insanely expensive, but really, really pretty. Like I love something that's this simple, that it's just, you know, two products that perfectly work well together, so easy to apply and give you a look that, you know, really looks like more effort went in than did. So I am so excited to keep trying this. I just, oh my gosh, this is a hit immediately, immediately a hit. Same goes for the lip combo. I absolutely love this. And to be honest, I don't even need the shine. The last one we put on, when I just put on that, um, that ink crayon, beautiful. So I definitely want to try some more colors of that because this is just gorgeous. And what I love about drugstore lips is you can try different colors, different shades, and you're not having to invest that much in it. So I'm actually really excited to maybe get a few more colors from that Maybelline lip collection because I just love, love, love this. Oh my gosh. All in all, I'm just so excited with how this turned out. There was honestly, besides that, you know, powder that pulled up product on my nose, I really liked all of these products on my first impression. So I definitely want to keep trying these and keep you guys updated. Please let me know in the comments below, which of these products are you most interested in hearing more about, seeing them appear in later videos. I am just so, so excited to keep trying some of these. Like this foundation, Wow. Wow. I have not been this excited about a foundation in a while. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Please be sure to remember to enter this month's giveaway. I hope to see you in the next video. You take care of yourself. Bye.